Hello everyone, my name is Victor with Blue Pips Forex and I want to welcome you to this quick update on AADCHF and Pound JPY. Before we continue, if you are new to this channel, please like, subscribe and share with your friends so that you can get our updates anytime we release them. Okay, so what we can see on my chart is the AADCHF daily time frame and um, what you can immediately see is this red trend line which I, um, I drew right from this top. You can see it how uh, it has matched some of these highs, recent highs, to the downside. All right, and um, if you look back at, if you look back in the past, you will find out that this area has served as it is the top of this um of this trend line has served as resistance for quite a long time, and again it served as resistance, and you can see the whole move to the downside. If you look here, you can see this um this my dynamic this trend line is also called dynamic resistance point. You can see here acted as resistance. On the way down here resistance resistance and here we expect to act as resistance again even though the price um, is yet to get to that level but before you consider this um, market before you consider the price getting to this resistance level you need to uh, you need to see this level this area which has been acting as um support for a long time you can see it um, starting from this area it acted as support here it acted as support it as a support you can see the whole of this area how it has been respecting the support and from our um, from from the normal um, rules of support and resistance trading when a support level or resistance level is broken to the either upside or downside when the price makes a, ret a retracement back to that level is supposed to reject it and that is what we are supposed to see with AUDCHF on this daily time frame now I've already highlighted this area as a major level of um support which you are aware of and now price is currently at that level and what we are supposed to see is a rejection to the downside now if you also take a look at the pattern that which in between the price has been um moving to the upside i'll go to the four hours time frame now so you can see that clearly on the four hours time frame if i, I can also match a trend line on this chart for you to see it um a lot clear clearly Okay, if I match this trend line, you can see that um, it has also been acting as a it's a counter trend line because it's going in the opposite direction of our major move, and you can see that it has acted as support here quite a number of times. And now, before we can consider taking a trade on this pair, we want to see it break to the downside and start acting as resistance. So even though we are um, we're heavily bearish from the daily time frame. From daily time frame, you can see that we are we are we are heavily bearish, but we cannot just jump into a trade like that without um, any form of confirmation. And the form of confirmation in this instance is to on the four-hour time frame to see a break of this trend line, which may actually happen today or tomorrow or whenever it happens. As soon as we get a break of this trend line to the downside, on the retest of this trend line again, that is when we'll be able to take a trade to the base of this correction and definitely it could even break lower than that but this is supposed to be our first target on the way to the downside and I'm sure it's going to offer a good a considerable amount of pips so that's what I have for ADCHF what I want you to take out of this video is to realize that the pair has approached a major level of support which is downturn resistance and you can see that the rejection is already occurring and this rejection could see price make a long move a bearish move to the downside and that can offer a very good amount of um pips let's see how many pips it's likely to give us from that move to this base is around 150 pips which is one you don't want to miss so this is what i have on adchf now I'll move on to the next one which is pound jpy and on pound jpy um what you can immediately see is our uh, two um trend lines the first one here and the second one here I'm sorry about my drawing okay so that's what i have on pound jpy now you can see what happened when the first one was broken at this um point you can see what happened it made a very long move to the downside and now it formed another counter trend line which you can see from here too 
and what we are expecting again is another long move to this downside so that's what we expect to see on pound j price straight up on daily time frame but because we are expecting a bearish move on pound j price doesn't mean you should just jump into the trade you want to um, have some rules to guide your entry because these rules are what we actually help you stay consistently profitable in the long run so if i switch this to the four hours time frame now you would notice a clear break of this trend line and apart from the break we also see that the price has been making a progressive um bearish higher i mean lower highs and lower lows which is the characteristics of a bearish market you can see that's making this progressive movement to the downside so this is actually the move that will throw the main direction to the downside so you want to be careful with how you take this trade because although we are looking for a sell trade you don't just want to jump into the trade you want to see price make its form of retracement to this um, level which minor level which should start acting as support i think it's somewhere around here so if price makes it up to this level makes it back to this level then you can take that trade with a good risk rewar to reward to the downside so this is um what this is what you should expect with the pound jpy trade it's not one that you want to jump in you want to see some form of retracement so you can get a better a good um entry so let's assume that price makes it up to this level and you have to take a trade from here your stop loss will be above the previous ring which in this case is around this um, 60 pips and then you can now set your take profit at around the base of the correction which is about 300 pips and that offers a very good risk to reward so this is what i expect from pound jpy we want to see that um bearish move continue although it has started already started on i think last week and follow through with this week with three really nice bearish candles and um, if we get an opportunity to get into this trade of course we would be happy to take the trade down to this base which is even more than 300 let's say around 400 pips and it's going to be a very very um a trade worth taking so this is what i have for pound jpy and adchf i hope you understood the video if you have any questions please drop them in the comment section and if you have any pair you would like me to analyze you can also drop them in the comment section and um, please like share and subscribe See you in the next video. Have a profitable trading week.